Well, hello and welcome in. I hope y'all can hear pretty good here. I see my mic thing moving. Hello and welcome in. I hope y'all can. And I need to silence that. Oops, what was that? Welcome in. There we go. Okay. Guys, that happened a little bit there. Sorry, got the YouTube thing playing also. And I forgot to hit that little silence thingy. All right, we are back here on Supermarket Simulator. Looks like my workers are going. I actually forgot everybody's names here. I remember one of them being Ditto. I think this one was Ditto because they look the same, but I uh, totally forgot everyone's name. So if y'all know, be sure to let me know in the comments. But it has been a minute since I have played any games or went live or posted anything on this channel in general. Just been extremely busy with work. Very, very busy work and life i guess is getting in the way moving back to day shift has been fun and i guess a little hard let's see here i guess this is where that goes there we go are y'all dropping stuff on the ground like i don't remember seeing this box here where's this honey go gosh i can't remember where any of this stuff goes it's all good right hey there we go I think I need to buy some stuff though. Let's uh, look into doing that real quick. Let's see here. I don't know what all I got on these shelves. Well, I don't think I need to buy anything, right? Well, let's get some of this oil stuff right here. Whatever that is, I believe it is oil, some bread. Oh, spaghetti. Definitely need some spaghetti. That thing was out. So this oil right here, we'll buy, oh, I'm already maxed out. Oh, hey, looks like it's the two things I need the most. We'll go ahead and purchase that. Five and five. I'm going to go ahead and open up the store, let the workers kind of take care of everything. Hopefully they keep up pretty good. I will go ahead and stock some spaghetti. I don't know if they do anything with it yet. No, they just stand there still. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure how they handled everything quite yet with the updates and everything. I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't even know there was an update for these workers to come out whenever they first came out. <laughs> Oops, throw that in there. Okay, let's stock up the shelves. I'll let the workers do the rest of the work here. Where does this go? It goes right there. Wish I'd carry more than one box. I'm pretty strong, right? Hey, how you doing? Howdy. Hey, how's it going? It definitely goes somewhere. <laughs> Yep. Hey, welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry I've been so absent for the last couple of weeks here. I think it's been almost two weeks since I did a live. It's been a lot longer than that since I played this game. So, the fans of this game, sorry about that. I don't know. Work's just been busy. Busy, busy, busy going on, working on day shift, I guess. I mean, I guess I have the opportunity to just stay up late and stream if I really want to but part of me hadn't really been wanting to I've actually just been enjoying a lot of time with the family spending a lot of time with the wife and everything so I don't know taking a little break I guess it's pretty nice I'm gonna try to get back to it I am working on a series for this channel an actual series series and then of course I'll try to get some sort of schedule down for lives I don't know I keep telling myself I I need to go live on this day at this time, do this, this, and this. I just never get around to it. So I'm sure it will happen eventually. Sleep important and family time. Yep, that stuff is important and it has been a lot of fun. I have actually been getting a lot more sleep now than I normally do, but that probably comes with the whole switching from nights to days. I've been on nights for the last four years, so I've been on, on there, I guess, for a while now. <laughs> 
sleeping. Let's go ahead and restock everything, I guess. I don't know if I need any of this stuff, but I'm basically just going to buy two of everything. I'll just restock this stock room and they can do whatever they want with it. Well, I definitely didn't need cereal. That was a mess up. Cereal. Nope. We'll throw you there. Yeah, it's actually came down to the idea of maybe even just stopping this whole channel in general, but now I have a lot of fun doing this. I actually do. My wife's kind of pushing me back to doing it some more too. She knows I have a lot of fun doing this stuff. Let's see here. What do I need to do? I need to drop this. Okay. I'll drop that right there. Gotta remember these controls been so long. So long. Let's go ahead and throw some of that stuff there. Don't know what that was. Flower, I think. Where all the viewers go. I don't know. You talking about the people that's in here watching and stuff? I, that's what I'm thinking you're talking about. And honestly, that could play out the whole fact that I just haven't posted. I mean, YouTube sees I didn't post consistently, been off for a while. That might be an issue with it. <laughs> and that could be a possible issue. That's why consistency is pretty important with posting. And I was very consistent before, but being on day shift is making it a lot harder to be consistent. Okay, I want uh, two more boxes of bread. Get some stuff after that too. Woo! Everybody working away in there. One, two, three, four, two more boxes of bread. To, I don't think I need any water. We'll pass up on the water for right now. So I eat dirt. How you been doing? And what you been up to? Been a minute, like I said. <laughs> in a minute. They haven't been able to do any of the multiplayer either. Haven't played much farm sim, honestly. I've been doing a little bit for my other channel, just a little bit. Not much at all, really. I'm trying to make those videos a little bit longer, and that's kind of backfiring on me. I thought it would work out pretty great because I'm posting less on my other channel. I was like, okay, let me let me make them a little bit longer. I'd say between 20 and 30 minutes. I thought I could do it successfully and only post three times a week instead of seven times a week. And it's turned out I can't exactly keep up with that pace. So there might be some changes coming to that schedule too, as far as posting longer 20, 30 minute episodes. Come on, what do I got here, what do I got here? Guess I need to remember I can sprint. Keep forgetting to hold that button down. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Something along those lines. I have no idea what I'm talking about half the time. Just make it up as I go. This is probably my longest break I have taken off of this channel since starting it. That's kind of crazy now that I think about it. Let's see here. What is this water? Where's the water stored at? It just stored on the ground, I guess? Nah, there's no way. That's not water, that's milk or something along those lines. Where did I store this water? I know I got it in order wherever that order was. Let's see here. Maybe over here? No, no, no. Okay, this is really going to bother me. Let's drop that right there for now. I got to check this computer. Wow, it's busy out there. Bottled water comes right after sugar powdered. Okay. We got 
sugar powdered in water. There it is. Gosh, I'm blind. Be boxing the boxes. <laughs> oh, I got a feeling I am doing horrible at keeping this stuff stocked. This is... I'm probably going to be running out of stuff pretty soon. It's 9 p.m. I can't even order any more stuff. Oh, man. It's been a minute since I played. The checkouts are full. Yes, they are. They are very, very full. You know what? Can I take over for you? No, I can't. Can I get another checkout register? Man, I don't exactly got enough room, I don't think. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could just put it anywhere I want. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll let the workers go at it. I gotta order a lot of stuff. I really wish I'd up this limit from this 10. It only allows you to have 10 in there. An employee's job to keep things stocked. Yep. They need to do better at that. Not me. <laughs> I wish they would uh, stock it from the curb. Let's put it that way. But then there'd really be nothing for me to do, I guess. I think I need to actually check out more customers before I could buy another register or hire another worker. Let's see here. It says I need to complete 900 checkouts and required store level 30. Don't know where we're at on store level, but I don't have the checkouts hit. <laughs> they all lose their job. I'm thinking about firing one of those uh, cashiers, though, so I can take that spot and start getting some checkouts. <laughs> Actually, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Let's go ahead and pay some bills. You know, I think I did name this episode, like, New Workers, so it'd probably be wrong if I fired them. Maybe. <laughs> uh, we will expand this store, maybe. $4,400. Wow. That is a lot. Yeah, I think I will fire one of the cashiers and actually do some checking out myself. I don't know. Can I buy another register? Maybe I'll do it that way. Where is that storage? Nope, no storage. My bad. Growth, maybe? Nope. Customization? Nope. Gosh, I can't remember what I do. Hiring. Growth. Market, maybe. Furniture. There we go. There we go checkout counter there's a few different ones i guess there's two different directions here i will buy one of each i mean that sounds like a horrible idea what do we got we got the librarian here hey welcome in she's laughing at me i guess gosh laughing at me or laughing at what i said probably me i'm just kidding she's really nice and james hey howdy welcome in welcome in just over here working, taking a break from work and working on uh, the supermarket here. Call this my second job, I guess. <laughs> so the librarian there, she is my wife, and I did tell her I'm tired of working so much, so I come in here and work, right? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, finish out the day. Let's see how we ended this. 54 customers are all satisfied. That's great. And librarian there saying, I'm always laughing at you. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Chris, I don't see anything. Have you tried turning on your TV or a phone? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, we made $2,000. Let's start the next day. Price has changed for peanut butter, orange juice, soda, soda, all that stuff. This is going to be kind of a bummer because I don't have these prices around it. Like I used to. But I got a lot of work to do. A lot of stuff to buy, I guess. Let's go ahead and just go down to the bottom of the list. I'm going to buy quite a bit of each, I think. At least I think. I don't know. One of those boxes in there is a register. that stop at cola soda let's see here yep cola soda just gonna buy two of everything 
course it's going to be left out on the curb. I tried the demo of this game, not really my kind of stuff. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Did, didn't you say you played that gas station simulator? I've been thinking about getting it. I know some people have been telling me about the gas, gas station simulator and how this kind of reminded them of it. Where's Steve? Okay, which one was Steve? Was it Steve, that was the that was one of the stalkers, wasn't it? So at the beginning of the stream here, I said I could not remember any of the workers' names. So I'm going to need y'all's help with that. <laughs> I feel like I might have way too much out there on the street right now. Okay, I think I'm looking pretty good here. Maybe. Possibly not. Let's take all that stuff off the street. Put it into the storeroom, I guess. Hey, here's my register. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. I feel like I set this up the wrong direction. Yes, I did. Oh, man, I got the wrong one, right? This was a great idea, huh? You know what? Let's just set it over here for right now, out of the way. We'll uh, package this up, maybe. I don't know. What is it? Box up? Yeah, let's just throw this down there. Can't throw it. Why not? There he goes. I don't know whose idea it was to buy another register. Ain't got enough room for that. Oh, it was mine. Guess I can't stack those. Uh, I tried the demo. Nope. Of gas. Okay. Might pick this one up if I can catch it on sale. Steve and Ditto. That was the names of the cashiers? I feel like Steve was one of the stalkers. Gosh, I can't remember. Okay, so this was Steve and this was Ditto, I guess. We'll put that right there. I think I can get out of here, right? Yeah, I just gotta jump over it. Perfect. I mean, customers don't need to have room to move around in there, right? Okay, let's see what we got here. Start stocking up these shelves, and then our workers will do some work, right? At least they should. Probably should have given myself some more room in here. It's packed and crammed in here. And, of course, I can't remember what most of these are, so there we go. Tuna. I feel like I got a lot of tuna. Nope, I don't. Peanut butter jelly time. Get that peanut butter. Where's it at? Where's that? There it is. Wow, I got tons of peanut butter. I need to stop buying that stuff. Or I could put it all on sale. Sounds like a great idea, actually. Now, I need to jack the prices up on everything. Steve and Ditto, those were the stalkers' names. What? Yeah, oh, because the cashiers was, uh, one of them was Ditto. I know that for sure. I remember that. I thought I picked two different names for the stalkers. Oh. I don't know. Great news is, though, it's all recorded in somewhere in video. <laughs> somewhere in one of the lives. You can't switch them. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to start calling them Hey You. That's what I like to call them. Sounds like a great name to me. I'm going to just say, hey, you. Let's see here where we at. There we are. I'll get this down eventually, and then I'll take a break and not remember where any of this stuff goes. And then I'll have to struggle again trying to figure this out. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Hey, you in the deli. <laughs> yeah, that works great. You at the cash register. Then they both look at me and they both look the same. I wish there was a customization option or more in detail as far as hiring workers. You can see their skill base and stuff like that and maybe actually give them training and everything. That'd be pretty in depth. That would increase their speed, obviously. 
Honey, honey, where's the honey? There's the honey. Little Asian guy. So Chris, how you been doing? It's been a while since I've been on here. I think I mentioned that. It's been almost two weeks since I've been on here. Been spending a lot of time with the family. It's actually been a lot of fun taking a little break here. I do know I missed it, but I do also, well, I did also like the time off from the channel also. Had a lot less to worry about. I need to get some sort of schedule down and try to stick with a schedule of some sort for... Oh man, I put that in the wrong spot. Yeah, these go over here. Gosh, I'm smart. Yeah, like I said, I need to get some sort of schedule down. For live streaming and my other channels they got kind of pushed back from my other channel did get pushed back from posting seven days a week to trying to do three right now but make them a little bit longer not sure how that's working out i think the first long one did come out a couple days ago or yesterday yeah yesterday That ain't apple juice. Wasn't me. I'll blame it on one of the stalkers. I think we could just call him all Steve. It's a pretty common name. <laughs> Since I went to day shift, my uh, new manager's name is actually Steve. That's great. <laughs> Come on, let's see here where this go. Go right there. Should be auto sim crew. <laughs> as far as the name for some of these people, should name them auto sim crew. Well, I should. But uh, I feel like he wouldn't be the best of workers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, he's. Probably asleep right now. He's, I think he works early in the mornings. I know a few of the lives I did later on, he had to get off and go to sleep. So, yeah, that's probably why he's not here now. I won't talk bad about him, I guess, while he's not here. I'll wait till he's here and I'll say to his screen, not his face, but to his screen. <laughs> nah, he's a great guy. I was just talking to him earlier today. Sharing some information about our channels and everything. Trying to figure out what's going on. Why the click-through rates are doing so horrible across all our videos, me and a few other people. Trying to understand the YouTube algorithm thingy a little more, I guess. Wait, that's totally not the right spot. It's over here. There it is. Now, how do I hire somebody to do this? I don't think I get to. Let's see here. Milk, 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 milk. Give me the milk. Give me the milk. Call me the milkman. There it is. More milk. We got some Cola Turco. Wherever that's at. Right over here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and open up the store. If I hear the bell ding, I'll come over here and check them out. I'll try to multitask it all. I didn't make any price changes. Hopefully they weren't too bad. You know, I should probably stop and take care of that real quick. What is that doing there? That doesn't go there. There it goes. That's sorted that a little better now. Trying to keep stuff organized, but somebody keeps messing it up. I know it's not me. Milk should be in a refrigerator unit instead of out in the open. Yes, it should. It really should, but I guess as long as it's in the box, it's fine. Crazy thing is, I believe that milk I just placed down right there, that's actually a refrigerated Liss milk, I think. <laughs> it doesn't require refrigeration. There is milk like that, I know that for sure. I remember they had some in the military and everything. 
didn't require any refrigeration, but do you really trust that? Refrigerated box. Okay, where's that milk at I was just talking about? Right here. This is milk. Yeah, I ain't drinking that, especially for 11.25. Okay, we got the Zap Cola, Zap Cola. There you go. Big juice, big juice. Where you at? Oh, it goes right here. Oh, no, nope, don't open it up. Close that. I don't think I've heard anybody hit up my register yet. I'll uh, take a quick look at it in a second. Yeah, no, nobody's came over here. Okay, all good. Y'all do you. Big juice, looks like you're full. I should probably make some price changes. What was some of the price changes? Let's see here. Peanut butter. Soda cola. I feel like there's more. Yep, there's that soda right there. Oh, 326. Wow, that went up a lot. Glad I made that change. 206. Wow, that went down a lot. Shouldn't make this change. But I will. It looks like there's somebody on my register now, so let's go ahead and check out. Wow, this is a different direction than what I'm normally used to. Hey, you can't walk back here, sir. Nah, that's all good. No change back. There you go. You have a great day. That's kind of weird facing that direction. <laughs> I haven't done that before. I got a backwards register, I guess. Okay, there's something else. Uh, peanut butter. 529. Somebody should do this before the store opens. Yeah, it's all good. Let's go with some tuna right there. Some of this green oil stuff, right? Olive oil, that's what it is, I think. <laughs> I watched a TikTok earlier. Somebody uh, ordered olive oil offline or something. And it turned out it was shampoo or something like that. Body wash. Yeah, so uh, they made some pretty nasty food. I guess it tasted like uh, soap. Makes sense. But it said olive oil on it really big and looked just like regular olive oil that you'd buy at a store. And I'm really having a hard time getting this down. Zero dollars back. Hey, thanks for the exact change. Is that what this lane is? Pay exactly? We'll see. Nope, it's not. 20, 30, 5, 6, 7. Let's go 63. I should shortchange them. But well, it's all good. Salt. Hmm, let's see here. Where does the salt go? Right there. Really need to redo the shelves here. Going back to the icebox reefers with this one. <laughs> I have the sudden urge to put a cam in a big diesel generator. Let's see here. Where is this? Okay, right there. No! It's all good. 450, huh? I really need to get my kids on this. I feel like my kids would love this. I don't know. My wife's still in here. What she thinks. I think this might be the first time she sees me playing this game. Maybe that's why she's laughing as soon as she got in. I don't know if she ever seen me play this game. She probably thought I was coming in here to live stream some farming sim. <laughs> Let's see here. What am I looking for? Yes, it's a math simulator. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think my kids would like the whole money portion of it and everything. I mean, it'd be great for them to do that, right? I feel like it'd be great for them. It is a cool game. Farming Simulator is a cool game. Yeah. Hey. It is a fun game. I like Farming Simulator. I did play it for hours earlier, so I wasn't really feeling like getting back on it. I was recording some for my zero to 100 million. Now that I'm making the videos longer, they are taking longer to make, which I guess that makes sense. Did anybody on my register? Oh, yeah, I guess there's one paying attention. 90 cents back, almost gave them nothing back. Oh gosh, I gave them 10 extra cents. Come back here. 
Oh, man, I just wish I could punch her. Take my 10 cents back. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing. I can't count. Okay, that's the problem. <laughs> oh, funny thing is at work, I just started uh, doing some inventory stuff for some of our items and everything. And the person I replaced, he did that. And so I was emailing people and everything, and I was like, let them know that I took it over. And I said, this should be fun because I have a hard time counting past five. <laughs> so, this should be fun. Let's see, what do we got over here? 765, did they ever update this? Oh yeah, they did. I can use the, I can use my numpad now. That is great. I love that. Jump her to get your money back. Hey, I was definitely trying that. <laughs> Let's see how bad we can rob this person today. Yep. You know, I think about doing that all the time, just seeing how much money I can steal from people each day in this game. There's somebody that plays these games and breaks them. Uh, I forgot the name of his channel. Gosh, can't remember. It's actually a big channel. They've grown quite a bit for doing that type of stuff. Where they try to break every game they play, kind of. And just do a bunch of dumb stuff on it. Anyways, uh, pretty interested to see if they actually ever play this game. I'll just see what all they do on here. They're definitely going to shortchange people, that's for sure. Oh, let's game it out. Yep, there you go. Let's game it out. Yep. Man, they grew fast. Just break a bunch of games. Have fun with it. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I look at the progress they make on just doing that. I'm just like, holy cow, they play a lot of time on these games to break them, I guess. <laughs> to get into a position of tearing them apart. Oh, somebody beeping at me. Just run, 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 run as fast as you can. Whoa. Do I forget like to put the prices on some of this stuff? Because this is a lot. 70, 60. Oh, come on, you can't pay $7,060? I was just seeing if it'd work without the decimal. Ooh, getting a little backed up over here. I don't mind it. Do love that whole credit card thing changing up now. 8209. Love using that numpad. There we go. We got Karen haircut going on over here. Oh, she paid cash. $22. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. I should shortchange her to get make up for what I gave that other person. Oops, wrong button. What I hit here. Approved space. There we go. Come on, man. There's like somebody over there y'all go to the checkout with over there. But no, y'all want to come over here. 40. Yeah, that was 40. It says right there, give him 40. He's the ultimate beta tester. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is. I wonder how many people got mad of him playing and playing and breaking their games. I'm sure somebody had to have. Okay, I believe that's the last person out. Let's check. Anybody in here? Anybody in here? Nope, we're good. Let's shut it down. Some little kid's going to get locked in here probably. 51 customers. So whenever I set up a register to help speed it up some, we decide to have less customers. I mean, okay. Sliced bread, cereal, and coffee. Let's see here. They're going down in price. I ain't going to worry about that, I guess. Yeah, I guess I should. I should be responsible here. Sliced bread. Did this say cereal, right? 610. Jeez. These prices are dropping big time. Coffee. Oh, man, $2 off here? Y'all gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna make a $1.35 on each one of those. I wonder if he ever played the Junkyard Truck. I know he played Mon Bose. Bose. I don't know how to say that. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the light on. Why not? I like wasting money on electricity. We got a lot to buy here. I'm going to go through and actually restock every single thing. Get it 100% restock before we open up. I say that, but I know I'm going to get tired and not do it. So I need two boxes of coffee. You know what? Let's go three, four boxes of coffee. 
four boxes of that sugar. Yeah, yeah, let's just start buying everything. I try to do it perfect, right? Four. Oh, nope, don't buy that yet. I like to get at least 10 in there so I don't get hit with that uh, delivery fee of $2 or shipping fee of $8 now. What? Did I go up? I don't remember it being like that. I need this cheese and those eggs. I think I can figure that out. Now I'm paying attention to that uh, shipping cost. $2 right there. $2 still. I guess if I go all the way up to 10, it's more now. Bazoo is how it's pronounced. Oh, okay. Let's see here. What am I looking for? Oh, these eggs right here. So the shipping costs change. Now that's $4. Okay. I always try to get 10 because of the shipping cost thing. I guess it's uh, fluctuate down with how much you got because I believe it was like two dollars or four dollars. I think it was always a constant number, whether you got one thing or ten things. So I was always trying to get ten. At least I think that's how it was. I don't know. Maybe it changed. I don't play these games enough or keep up with their news enough to even know or their Discord pages. I can't even really keep up with my own Discord page, let alone hundreds of other ones checking in talking to people every day yeah i know that can do that some people do though it's crazy how they got the time to do that spaghetti you could always grossly overcharge for things yes i could I, i've been thinking about that They'll buy less. I might turn a profit better, maybe. Depends on how much they buy and plus my bills and everything. I just feel bad doing that. I did watch somebody on TikTok. They uh, did a 50% off sale across all their products. <laughs> and uh, they sold everything. Like a lot more normal, obviously. That would make sense. And uh, they didn't make that good of a profit. So was it really worth it? Probably not. But charging over? Yeah, that might be worth it. A couple cents over or so, 10, 25 cents over. Could go back to that whole round into the nearest quarter or nearest 50 cent or something like that and just round it all up. Customers gripe at overcharge. They do gripe at overcharge. I don't think I've had them gripe much yet. Maybe one time. Maybe. And uh, that was just, I accidentally forgot to change it, I think. And that was whenever I was doing the round of 25 cents. I don't know. I Even though it's over, it, it, I mean, it can still go over. Let's put it that way. It can go over, it just can't go over a lot. So if it's overcharged a lot, then customers will start to gripe about it. Because whenever I was rounding to the 25 cent or the 50 cent, it was uh, all overcharges rounded up. Let's put it that way. So I rounded up. I still can't believe we're buying everything international here. Like y'all notice that on those stickers? They all say international. I figured there'd be something cheaper, but I don't know. I guess here in America, we buy everything from China. It's a lot cheaper, right? Kind of sad, but international delivery. They sure can get it here fast for international delivery. <laughs> get it here real fast for that. Got a bunch of eggs, bunch of eggs. There we go. Starting to remember where all this stuff goes on the shelves. Don't know where it goes out there on the shelf, though. Just gotta memorize one of these shells, I think. They're they're a problem for being poor. <laughs> they're a problem for being poor. <laughs> About to overprice. 
flipping Chinese steel rots in a week. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yep. Uh, we, uh, for our work, we do a bunch, bunch of stuff with metal. And uh, a lot of customers, they do not want their uh, material from China. No raw materials from China and stuff like that because it's to do with metal. I mean, obviously, most of the stuff we buy in America comes from China. But once you get into the whole metal industry of China, yeah, that's not good at all. Guess they haven't perfected that yet cheaply. Let's put it that way. <laughs> or they haven't found kids to run the shop. I don't know how they do it over there. It's kind of sad how they'll work for like pennies on the dollar or something like that all day. They too cheap. Yep, they are too cheap on that. You know, it kind of blows my mind how we can just ship stuff across the world so cheap. Uh, I don't understand that. I mean, obviously it's being shipped in bulk, I guess I would say. But still, it just seems weird how we can keep costs so low on stuff and ship it all the way across the world at the same time. Got a lot of eggs there. Good thing uh, they don't have to be in the refrigerator. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised I haven't done that yet. It's got some storage racks for refrigerated goods. That should definitely be a thing. Yeah, I think I'm about ready to open. Not really. I mean, there's definitely some more stuff I'd like to stock. In here, because I keep seeing these holes. Obviously, the empty holes in these shelves here means there could be empty holes out there on the store floor. That's what it could mean. And wow, that is a lot of empty stuff. I mean, it's all pretty good out here, I think. At least enough to survive the day, probably. Yeah, I think we're good. Did you see the size of that ship under the bridge? Oh yeah, those ships are huge. Yeah, in general, those cargo ships, they have grown so much. I always love seeing a picture of the Titanic next to those cargo ships now. They are crazy big. Let's see here. Let's get some of that milk there, I guess. We'll get four. Because that will hold four right there. Let's see what we got here. Let's get some uh, four milk there. Four things of eggs there. I don't know if I can get that many. It's going to stop at 10. Let's see here. Two, three, four. That's good, right? Of course, I'll just listen for my register. If the fuel they carry is measured in tons per nautical mile. Might be able to fit more than that here. Oh, nope, just two boxes. That makes sense. That's what I thought. And then we got some regular milk. Yeah, who loves regular milk? I don't. <laughs> yeah, and like the cost of fuel and how cheap fuel is. I mean, fuel ain't cheap to a lot of people. But the process, the process that's used to make fuel and everything, is just crazy. Look at it at a bigger picture of how it could be so cheap and transported across the world. There we go, 6192. Hey, picking up some people over here. Even though there's a lane over there that's empty, y'all could use. Oops. Oh, nope. 57. 24. My numpad does not match the numpad thing right here. So I think that's where I was off on. 
Maybe I've been charging these people wrong. No, it won't let me charge wrong on a credit card. Even though that'd be the best way to charge it wrong because most people don't see it until later. 2381. I just gotta make sure I don't look at that numpad there. It's gonna throw me off the one in the screen. I mean, I can run the one on my computer without looking at it if I want to. Let's see here. Let's keep moving. No breaks for us. We don't take no breaks around here. They just burn a bit of oil. Hey, actually, speaking of those ships, I don't know about the... I don't know about the cargo ships. I mean, I highly doubt they run on nuclear, but uh, the ships in the Navy, they run on nuclear, I believe. And they can run for a very long time, from what I understand. I guess, like, no fuel required or anything like that? That's pretty interesting. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I... I remember always hearing something about them running on some nuclear reactor or something like that. Or nuclear power or something, I have no idea. Hey, I said the same thing when it came to my car running on nuclear. <laughs> Gosh, why y'all jump in this line? There's literally an open one right over there. Come on, y'all. Use some common sense here. 7152. And not all of them. Yeah, that's understandable. I think it was like the big carriers mainly. Like the bigger, bigger ones I thought was like that. 22 cents is your change, sir. I think as a man, I wasn't paying attention. Guess you can't really uh, tell nowadays anyways. I'm going to go with the credit card. 58.87. Have a great day, sir. 25.66. And there we go. Do I got a second to step away? Nope, I don't. Right whenever I thought I did. 1677. I'm going to step away now. Oh, I got no work to do. Well, let's look at buying some stuff. Guess I need to check these shelves down here. We got cheese and pasta. And that and that. Okay, cheese, pasta, that and that. I don't even remember what that and that was. Let's just go with cheese, pasta, that, and that. <laughs> I think I might have been spot on on that one. The quietest subs are mostly diesel electric. That's interesting. I mean, if you want quiet, I mean, electric would be the way to go. There we go. We'll take that money. Oh, wait. Not that way. Money right here. Okay. Zero dollars is your change. I think there's ones or two nuclear subs. I know there's some subs out there that are carrying nuclear missiles. I know that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of engines they have. Let's put it that way. They run on nuclear power. That'd probably be a bad idea, right? Let's run this nuclear reactor with these nuclear warheads. <laughs> Oh, well, sometimes I wonder how this earth is still going. With some of the way people are and how dumb everybody's been. Yep, sometimes I wonder how we're still floating through space. Let's 
Some aliens probably watch me right now. Like, this is what they do with their life. Huh? They, they work all day, come home, and work again. <laughs> okay, quite a bit here. Quite a bit, quite a bit. I like it whenever they buy quite a bit. Zero dollars and change. I like that. That's awesome. I need a mod like that. No change. Require they pay exact cash every time. That'd be nice. Oh man, I tried to get away, but that didn't work out. I don't know. I keep clearing my throat, so you may see me uh, pause it and everything there. So I keep clearing my throat, cutting out the mic. But it says, uh, simply, we are living on a rock. Yep. I guess so. I need to buy more. Is the shop still closed after 9? I think it is. Closed after 9 p.m. Yep. Darn. Guess I could go around and see what all I need to stock, though. I don't know why I moved out of his way. We can run right through each other. We're going to go four bread, four sugar. I think that was sugar. Nah, I feel like it might have been flour, actually. It is flour. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sliced bread went down in price? Oh, well, I changed it, I guess. And then, you know what? We'll just do that right there with the cereal. Oh, speaking of the cereal, I actually got some on the ground over here, I thought. Yeah, I don't need to buy any of that cereal. Yeah, let's take that cereal off. And what is this? This is some apple juice. See, that's how I keep overbuying things. I... Just not paying attention exactly. I'm just like, let's get this. Let's get this. When in reality, I don't need it. Okay, I think everybody's done, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and finish out the day. 51 customers. $1,500 profit, though. That's pretty nice, right? I think it is. Oops. So will start the next day. Honey went up. Milk went down. Where's the honey? I think that's honey. Twelve. You know, let's just go thirteen dollars. I'll start rounding it again. Oh wait, not thirteen hundred. Ooh, I saw zero right here. I guess that's zero on the shelf. I thought that was the price it was given. I was about to freak out. We'll go two twenty-five here. Let's turn some lights on. I guess. Of course, buy a few things, right? Price of milk going down got me a little worried. Might end up having to uh, keep that restocked. Hey, let's see here, James. Gonna let y'all go. See y'all no man's land. Hey, see you later. Getting a lot of tips and tricks from you there on that on that series. Thank you for all that. Really do appreciate it. Hope you have a great night. And I bought too much milk. Gosh dang it. I blame that on James. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wonder how long I could last without any workers. I mean, I could keep going and going, but man, that'd be a lot of work. Spend years restocking before opening your day. Let's see how bread. We'll do bread right there. I think I got four boxes of bread, actually. Oh, man, I see if it'd let me stack two boxes up. I mean, I know these boxes of bread gotta be light, right? Gotta be. Come on. Why is there a box sitting out there? Did somebody drop that? Did I drop that? I feel like these workers might drop some boxes. Oh no, that one wasn't dropped by a worker. I don't think it was. Okay, I think we're good to order some more. <laughs> Not good to start yet. Let's go with this orange juice. It's been a minute since I've bought any of that. Let's go ahead and get four of those. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. I believe four fits in there. We'll go with that green olive oil stuff. And... Oh, 
Gosh, I hate how it does this sometimes. It tracks my movements somehow on this keypad thing, even though I'm not on it. Spaghetti price went up, though. That's nice. Uh, we'll get some tuna. Sounds great. Okay, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that green olive oil. And we'll buy one of these, too. Let's go change the price on that spaghetti. Gotta make every little bit of money I can from these suckers. Seven fifty is what we'll change that to. Orange juice goes right there. See, I like that. I know exactly where it's at. Right in the door. Stocked. Done. I ain't got to worry about it again. Well, till the next day. But then I got to worry about it there. So I think I might try to set up some sort of scheduling for live streaming. I'm trying to figure out. Should I do two a week, three a week? I don't know. Saturdays might be a good day to do, but I got to work Sunday morning. So in reality, Fridays would probably be my best day to do it. And then that makes me think maybe I could do Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays as my live streams, maybe. But usually after work, <laughs> I'm so exhausted and tired. I don't exactly want to. <laughs> So that's why I haven't came up with some sort of schedule yet. How about nuclear airplanes? Not tossing connecting rods. Nuclear airplanes, huh? Well, I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> Just any nuclear power in general. What could go wrong? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and open up shop. Tired of waiting around for the customers to come in. I need to invest that $6,500 in some stuff around here. You know what? Let's do that. Let's, um, let's go to growth, I guess. I think growth, right? Yeah. Let's, uh, get another section. Getting close to, uh, yeah, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot. We'll just move this back. Try to keep it all in some order. Why is it not snapping in there? Wish there was a better snapping option for this stuff. Whose idea was it to buy a single fridge thing? Probably whenever I first started. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to keep it all in a line. and kind of lined up with the purchasing menu that you purchase through. So what I mean by that is these two items right here should be side by side on the purchasing menu. Well, that's the idea there. Okay, looking good, looking good, I think. Let's, uh... I guess pay the bills. Who doesn't love paying bills? And after paying bills, let's go ahead and go to the market. We'll buy some more things here. Don't know what I need. The floor is a good storage place. Yes, it is. They should be buying stuff off the floor. What is this, coffee? You know what, let's buy six things of coffee and four things of those eggs. Sounds like a great idea. They're, they come in smaller boxes, so I'm able to stock those better. A lot of things I've been buying in fours because only four things, four boxes will fit on the shelf. I do have extra shelf space I should probably use, but I don't ever do that. And I do have somebody at my register, which we'll jump over there. Hey, look at this guy, I like his shirt. 33 cents. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Hey, how's it going, man? Looks like you bought a lot. Oh, cash. Okay. There you go. Keep going the wrong direction here. We'll take your credit card and charge you $5,078. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get out of here. Gosh dang it. I got work to do. Can I like dismiss the worker maybe? Close checkout. 
Wow. Oh, what? What? That is so cool. That must be a new option. Because I always hate it. Having that thing open whenever I didn't want to do it. <laughs> okay, okay, I like that. Oh, I'm just like really excited about that for some reason. I mean, I'm not going to close it. I mean, I'm still going to run over there and work on it and everything. But I like how that's an option now. So if I am just going to be, or plan on being super busy, I'd close it down. Or, because used to, what would happen is I'd box it up. I would put it in a box and set it to the side whenever I didn't want to check anybody out. Then I'd get everything caught up and I'd be like, okay, let's put my register back up. But with them having that option now, that's pretty cool. 894. Y'all go over to that guy. You better not turn left. Okay, there you go. You're good. I was about to throw these boxes of eggs at him. I can't do that, can I? I mean, I could. I could. Horrible customer service. Ratings, though. <laughs> That'd be another funny thing. You get, like, uh, Google reviews for your business. That affects how many customers comes in. Yeah, way too many metrics or algorithm or whatever stuff they'd have to put into uh, making a game with all that information I keep talking about. Way too complex, let's put it that way. All right, what do we got going on here? We got this man and this woman walking by. They are in my way. Stay out of my way. Wish I had a dock or something where all this stuff would just be thrown in there. Set out on the street. We'll take your credit card and charge you $65,071. There you go. You have a great day, sir. Hey, some of y'all come up here. Come on. Or don't. Charles time, not mine. Gosh, dang it, y'all go to mine? <laughs> it's your second full-time job. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now, I used to always say that uh, YouTube was a full-time job to me, working uh, 40 to 50 hours a week on it, but I honestly haven't been doing it much. I think I'm down to like 10 hours a week on it, maybe. Well, 10 to 20. We'll see. I think this week I'm going to get upwards to that 20, but last week I know I was around 10. Had a bunch of overtime days and stuff like that at work. Oops. Oh, what do you got here? Couldn't find something. Parmesan cheese. What? Where is it? Whoa. Completely empty. Come on. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Stocked at my shelf. Myself. <laughs> I said shelf. <laughs> Stocked at my shelf. Stop beeping at me. I gotta save the cheese world. <laughs> I think my wife sent me a TikTok earlier today saying cheese has narcotics in it or something like that. Hey, you're back. Hey, Brandon, welcome back. Yep, I'm back. I've been gone for a while. Sorry about that. Huge transition over to day shift. Trying to get all situated there. Been busy spending a lot of time with the family, actually. Which has been pretty nice. I just gotta spend enough time with them where they get tired of me and say, Hey, get out of here. Go to the game room. No, I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen. But yeah, it has been a minute since I posted. Gosh, I was just trying to jump over my register. And you want to come over here. I mean, I could easily close the register down. But Brandon, how you been doing? Yeah, I just, man, I don't know. I've been away for a while there. It's been hard staying away, kind of, I think. But I've also been enjoying it quite a bit, to be honest with y'all. Been enjoying spending a lot of time with the family and everything. Playing a lot of Minecraft with my older kid, too. Actually planning some series on Minecraft now. <laughs> uh, you know what? You might see a live stream Minecraft tomorrow, maybe. No telling. Yeah, he wants to play Minecraft all night tomorrow. 
That was his plan. Friday night, he wants to game all night on Minecraft. Maybe I'll turn it on live. Probably not. We'll just do a bunch of playing together without recording. Because eventually one day, he will not want to play video games with me. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe all of us want to play games with me. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I mean, they do grow up, I guess. As long as I'm the cool dad, right? <laughs> I'm going to be the mean, strict one. Let's see here. Where's this cheese go? I just need to start throwing it on random shelves. Don't worry about keeping it organized. Just drop it on a shelf and go. See an empty shelf, drop it on there and go. You know, that ain't a bad idea now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, it's going to waste a lot of space, I think. Brandon went to stay with family during spring break. Okay, okay. Yeah, spring break, man, that was busy for us here. Um, hung out with the kids, pew pews, side by sides. Yeah, went boating to the lake. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. That just made me laugh. The pew pews, I guess. I don't know. I guess social media doesn't like you saying certain words. And I hear a lot of people just say pew pews now. Or different words meaning different things. Like I think uh, some people, they'll always try to say unalive instead of the other word. Because I guess their content will get flagged. Whenever they're talking about these uh, stories or whatever. Yep. It's just weird how much stuff gets restricted. Okay, where are we at here? Let's uh, drop those eggs in there. Uh, hey, Brandon, sounds like you've uh, been having a good time there. And, I mean, kind of along the lines of what I've been doing. Spending a lot of time with the family and everything. So, yeah, that's kind of why I've been a little absent. The whole switch over to day shift has been a big change. I really like it. But it's been a big change. Hey, we got a box. What is this, cereal? Yep. Let's go ahead and throw that right in. I think we are good to sleep through the night. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Products not found. What? You gotta be kidding me. That is totally unacceptable. Just called him Stevie Wonder. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I didn't have products there. Cereal. Let's take that cereal price down, I guess. 550 like I said I'm gonna start getting around those 50 cent ranges again but keep it rounded up well 50 cent or 25 it doesn't matter which one to me I don't really care okay what do we got going on over here wow that's almost empty let's uh, take care of that real quick pretty sure I can buy a bunch of it I think it comes in small boxes so I am gonna buy a bunch of it See, these small boxes right here, they stack pretty good on shelves. Right there. Pretty sure all ten of those can stack in one hole. Well, maybe nine of them can. But they're going to use them quite a bit on the shelf. And plus, I got the shelf above that. They're going to use them in the fridge. Let's put it that way. You know what? Maybe this whole room is refrigerated. That's what it is. That's why this stuff stays good in the boxes. No, it actually stays good out here on the streets. <laughs> I remember that was one thing I was always trying to do. I was trying to clutter up the streets so bad with empty boxes. Seeing how bad it could get. And then I realized, hey, that might not be good for my computer. So I stopped. <laughs> well, I've seen so many people just use the street for organization instead of using the stock room. And of course, I didn't use the stock room for a long time because of uh, it was just kind of out of the way. I got that pass-through door. Now they got these stalkers and everything. So it's worth the using now. Without those stalkers being on there... The stock room's not worth using at all. Come on, stock up, stock up. Where did that go? Sometimes I'm afraid it goes to the shelf in the back because I can click on that shelf in the back. I've had it happen like that once before. I mean, it'll only go there if there's an empty shelf back there. Come on, what do we got going on here? 
Hey, what's this, milk? Where did this come from? Oh, okay. Guess it's been sitting there for a minute. That's still good, right? Okay, let's get some of this milk here. Speaking of milk. We'll get four boxes of those. One, two, three, four. You know what? Let's go five. I'm going to go ahead and stock one on the shelf myself. Guess I don't really got to work my way to ten. Whoa, that is really empty. Should have did a lot more than five. I guess we'll figure it out. But what is that down there that's empty? What is that? Uh, sugar. Some sort of sugar. Hey, what do we got here? We got a subscriber coming in. Alex, hey, welcome in. Can't see. Oh, it's really small. Al Alex Storm, I think. Hey, welcome into the channel. Hope you enjoy the train wreck of content. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of. Eh, kind of. Okay, we'll buy two more of those milk thingies. We got a lot of work to do here. Why was I sent back to the start of the stream? I don't know. I think you said you had that issue once before. This the streaming channel then? Yeah. That's kind of what I'm turning this channel into is a streaming channel. Because it's just so much easier for me to get that out. Because I don't have all this editing to do. Like, I got so many videos I need to finish editing. I actually got some I need to finish editing for tomorrow's release. That's not going to get done. I should probably be doing that right now. But I wanted to take a break from the editing and just play the game. Or not just this game. Just play games. Let's put it that way. Because the videos I need to edit are for Farm Sim. You're in my way there, Stevie. Now I'm saying Stevie for their names. Keep saying Stevie Wonders in there. <laughs> some interesting sugar like that twist top thing on there that's uh like what kind of sugar is that oh okay hoping i didn't take up what he was trying to stock heading is not a problem don't exist <laughs> Yep, no editing with this. Now I really need to, what is it, get some shorts out of it from my live streams. Like little clips of me and everything, all these funny moments that may happen in here. But that's going to take a lot longer to do because I'm going to have to go through and kind of rewatch them. Not necessarily, I could transform them all into transcripts and just look for certain keywords. I actually need to get some clips together. My company where I work at, they want to do an interview of me for stuff you do outside of work. Okay, we got rice here, salt. No, let's buy a bunch of salt, a bunch of rice. Where's the rice? There it is. I don't think I should buy that much, but we're going to buy it. I feel like I should just do that with the salt. Probably shouldn't buy that much salt either. Well, what could go wrong, right? I mean, I could go bankrupt. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if that's an option on here. We'll go ahead and open up store. I think we're good. I don't know. Let me check the shelves, make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, nothing's completely empty. That's positive, right? Yeah, yeah, we could. Let's open up the store. Brandon, I will have to watch this tomorrow at work. <laughs> Well, have fun watching it tomorrow at work. <laughs> Stream keeps breaking for me. I, I don't understand how that... Like, it did it again or something? I don't know what's going on there. I'm just kidding. I got this button here that says kick. I'm just kidding. That's not that's not an option, if you're wondering. <laughs> hey, Gold Gaming Howdy. How's it going? Welcome in. Welcome in. Cools Gaming. Hey, how's it going? I guess everybody just got a notification or something. A lot of people jumping in now. It's like everybody starts jumping in whenever I think about getting off. Maybe I should think about getting off here more. Getting off this game. Be like, oh, all these people come in and I can't get off the game. <laughs> How's the day shift going? It is going. 
it's going now i'm just staying a lot busier than normal a lot more outside influences i would say coming at me you know all the office people being there saying hey we should change it to this we should change it to that that happens a lot more on day shift so a lot more last minute changes let's put it that way and it's been busy i've been working pretty hard and i'm tired a lot let's put it that way maybe the whole flipping the schedule back because i've been on nights for four years maybe the whole flipping the schedule back has been an issue too because i've been sleeping a lot more now normally i don't sleep no seven or eight hours but i've been doing it hey cool's game just finished your stream oh, okay that's great Just check my phone, see if I got a notification for it. Didn't see it. You know, I actually haven't even been watching much YouTube either. There's a couple of people I watch kind of religiously, I guess, every time they post. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I just caught up on like three videos I missed over the last week of somebody. Did that in the pickup line while waiting to pick up my kid. Just haven't that much time to do anything lately, let alone make content or edit it or post it or even live stream. It's been almost two weeks since I live streamed. Uh, I'm hoping to get the whole day shift thing set up a little better and get in a routine and hopefully have some energy and maybe start streaming from like 9 p.m. to maybe 11 p.m. or something like that on the days I work. I mean, I go to work at 6 a.m. So sleeping six, seven hours shouldn't be an issue. Shouldn't be because, I mean, I was sleeping less than that whenever I worked night shift. Wow, there are people backed up in my register over there. I sure, really should have been paying attention. They won't get mad and leave, will they? <laughs> Sorry. I feel so bad now. Office be officing. Yeah, they will do that. 9.52... That's actually fun. I like the fast-paced stuff that just kind of keeps coming and changing. I, I really like that. It's actually what I fell in love with the job, where I work at, and why I've been there for over six years now. But over time, I've kind of got to the point where I'm ready to slow down, kind of. Been applying for a few co corporate jobs here and there. And I had an office job for a while before COVID hit. But I never actually wanted an office job, so the great thing about the office job I did have was I could go out on the shop floor and do some work whenever I wanted to. So I'd get tired of being in the office, and then I'd go find something to do on the floor. Let's see here, 255 really? That's all you're buying. All you're buying, man. Come on. Buy more. Feel like I should stock some more stuff. What is this, honey? No, well, let's buy a couple of things of honey. No, we're going to buy 10 things of honey. Got to be kidding me, man. All your blueness. Three fifteen. that's yours. Let's see here. Yeah, when I worked in the oil field, I got most of my work done before everyone got there or after they left. <laughs> yeah, I had a big project I had to do. And yeah, I got most of it done before or after. Again, I get what you're saying there. Actually, whenever I first started working there, I was put on, but I took on a bunch of different projects. I wasn't put on. I just kind of volunteered and took them on and completed them really good, I think. And doing those projects, I always ask, can I come in early? Because that's when I'd get most of the work done. So I was working 14 hour days. And then it got to the point where I just started asking, can I, let me take your credit card, I guess. Can I um, switch over to night shift for a couple of weeks while I work on this project? Because I wouldn't have people stopping me randomly. So, <laughs> yeah, you definitely understand that one there. Some people will understand it, some won't. Work 24 
working on the oil rig seems like a fun job. You know, I never done that. I actually tried to. Applied for a few jobs. It was actually kind of weird. I didn't know I applied for one. And they called me to do some phone interview thing. And then I was telling them all my experience and everything. And I didn't know what company it was. I'm like, okay, maybe I did apply for them. Wasn't paying attention at that point. Just applying for a bunch of different things. And then after everything there, they was like, how did you get past the initial application? Because a lot of the things I was saying no to, I didn't have experience here, here, or here. They were saying I needed it just for them to get my information. So yeah, I did try to do the whole oil field work, oil rig, uh, whatever. Travel around, do all that fun stuff, right? <laughs> Instead, I settled for working 60 to 84 hours a week at my current job I got now. I think last week I did hit 72 hours last week. That's what I got last week. This week I think I'm only at 48 though. So taking it easy, cutting it back this week, only doing 48. That's playing unless somebody tells me to come in tomorrow. There's one thing my wife did ask me to do. She said, don't work on Saturdays. So I will try my best not to work on Saturdays where I work. Because that's actually some project that came up recently and I went in on Saturday. Let's get a couple things of water here. Looks like I'm pretty low on water. Where is it? There it is. Let's get five of those. Wow, you guys really aren't buying much, huh? 654. There you go. Uh, ooh, what is this? Sugar, pasta, oil, just everything in general probably needs to be restocked. I have no idea. Well, there you go, buying enough groceries for all those people that came in here and bought barely anything. Thank you, sir. You and your bow tie, black tie adventure you're going to probably. $117. Ooh. Looking good, looking good. It's kind of dark in here. I need to get more lights. I wonder if I cover the whole roof in lights. I wonder what that electric bill would be. I like slower going jobs. Always on the move isn't exactly for me. How oh, I like always on the move stuff. Working on oil rigs seems like a fun job. Don't know how slow that would be technically. I guess it would depend on what job you do on an oil rig, but it doesn't seem to be too slow paced from what I see. Let's see here. There we go. I'm starting off in general construction. General construction, would that be like highway or houses? Equivalent of the sun. When I worked there, we built the new rigs for shifts and I was in charge of getting all the materials and line the projects up to have them assembled on the floor. Sounds like fun. And sounds like you definitely get a lot more done without people there. <laughs> Let's call it good here. 53 customer products found expensive. <laughs> I'll jack that price up even higher next time if you say something else. We only made a $201 profit. Wow. Well, we bought a lot of supplies, I guess. $2,300 in supplies. Flyer went down. Cereal went up. Oh, it's this flyer right here. $550. Six twenty. Oops, six fifty. Right. I don't know. I hate not having satisfied customers. You know, what? we're going right back to exact prices. I, I just hate having it say it costs too much. Even though this one was only off by a penny, <laughs> I'll push out the exact change. <laughs> What we got here? We got five items here. You know what? Let's buy that, 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 that. Let's get another one of those, I guess. Don't know what all it goes to, but we'll buy a couple of those, a couple of those, a couple of those. This is where I'm going to run into a problem buying a bunch of random things, not knowing what I'm buying, and I'm going to have way too much stuff in inventory. 
And I'm just going to run out of money. Let's put it that way, too. Yeah, I'm going to buy 10 of these T-Black things. Not again, such low. <laughs> I think I can afford 10 things of peanut butter, right? I definitely don't think I have enough room for 10 things of flour. Oh well. I'm just buying 10 of everything. This has got to be a horrible idea. Especially for that stock room. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to make some overflow area. I got tons of salt. I know I do there. So I'm not going to worry about the salt. Ooh, I got $4.83 left right now. Let's see what we got piled up out here. Oh, this is just a mess. What idea was this? Whoever it was, we should fire him. Can YouTube not break for five minutes? No, I don't think it can. No, I'm just kidding, but hey, sorry that keeps happening. I don't know what's going on. Have you searched uh, or tried to Google it, I guess, of what the issue might be? I think these are storage shelves. Yes, they are. Time to get some more in. Get a little bit of an overflow over here, possibly. Don't know if I'll uh, need it or not, but... Oops. Sure I will. Water, water, water. Let's put that water in here somewhere. There we go. Where does this go? Oh, over here. I knew that. Just testing y'all. Gosh, this is a lot of stuff. Can't believe y'all let me run out of this much. <laughs> and I spent all my money on this, too. <laughs> oh, man. This is probably going to end up being a horrible idea. Looks like my milk's full. Of course it is. Already got some extras there too. It's YouTube ads that break it. Huh. Yeah, I think I asked you before, maybe if you're running an ad blocker, it might be happening maybe. So like, I, but you don't. I'm pretty sure you said that. I guess you get the ad and then it restarts after the ad or something like that, if I remember correctly. And I think you're the only one that's saying you're having that issue also. And there's actually no way for me to disable the ads. There's a way for me to turn them down, which I do that. I guess there's a frequency of how many ads you can choose to put on a video with the lives. Come on, give me that peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. I want a peanut butter jelly sandwich now. I'm hungry now. What time is it? 10.33. Ooh, not as late as I thought it'd be. Let's go another 30 minutes, I think. I think we got this. But Cools Gaming, are you still on here? How was your stream? How, what were you streaming? I didn't get no notification for it or anything. And you know what? We'll throw some water over here. Come on, where does this go? You know what? We'll throw the milk over here too. I got two boxes of milk. I can go right there. Mobile doesn't have a 
add block available. Oh, okay, okay. I have no idea how that works. I just know a lot of people hate it. Well, a lot of content creator, creators hate it. Because that's taking money from them. Which I have uh, YouTube Premium, so I, I don't ever see any ads anymore. I think it finally got to the point where I got tired of the ads and finally broke down, just went ahead and paid for the premium. And that's probably what you're getting close to doing, too. <laughs> They're like, hey, let's keep messing this guy's phone up every time an ad pops up and then he'll actually buy the premium. That's exactly what they're trying to do to you. I feel like that's what they did to me. Well, not with breaking it down, but they just kept showing so many freaking ads. It was ridiculous. I have to remember you're an hour behind. <laughs> yep. Yep. I am in Central Standard Time here. It is 10.35 p.m. I don't know. I guess I could stay up a little later doing this, but I think I need to try to get some sort of schedule together. Maybe like a 9 to 11 type stream thing. Still got to wake up early, get the kids ready for school, make the wife breakfast in bed. She's spoiled rotten. Love her, though. She says it's not being spoiled, it's being well-loved. <laughs> Call it whatever you want. Milk, milk, milk. Man, I got a lot of milk. Y'all stop running over my products. Ooh, nice car. 11.35 here. Yeah, getting a little late, a little late. It's time for bed. Should go to bed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, where does this go? Goes right here. That's going to be well stocked shelves. Pretty well off stocked shelves, I think. It's like the most I've seen on these shelves, but also like the lowest I've seen my bank account in a while, too. Oh, look at you going to work now. Now that you got something you can stock. Other one's probably going to go stock that also. Let's see here. Nope, you're not even moving. Okay. You do you, buddy. I'll dock your pay for standing there doing nothing. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the store. Shut down my register. I love that option. And just keep going away with this right here while the customer's coming in and out. Need to pick up something further away, something different. Nope, that's the same thing I just picked up. <laughs> I keep picking up from one area and it's all like the same stuff. I'm like, I need to stock something else on the shelf so these workers will keep going. But then I go to stock something else and it ends up being the same thing. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti right there. Some cheese. Got a lot of this cheese. A lot of it. Don't have any idea what this music is I'm listening to right now. Put it on some rock playlist thing, but... I don't know, this one's just going at it, I guess, with this instrument sounds. wonder what clips I should upload this month. What, what, what all have you been uploading? I don't think I've noticed much. Or, well, I mean, like I said earlier, I don't know if you're listening. It's just been so busy. I haven't been watching my normal people I watch. I think he was playing a lot of SnowRunner. I keep keep thinking about getting on some snow runner. I miss it. Come on, we'll just go right over here on the end. Why can't I use the very very top shelf?
I feel like somebody could get a ladder and reach that. I really need to get some more shorts posting because all my shorts have ended for ATS. They have all stopped. I ran out. I need to edit some more. Figure something out there. Eggs, 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 eggs. Where you at? Right there. I think I'm going to gather some more beam clips and upload them. Beam scenes do the best. You know, I don't think I've noticed any years yet. I definitely want to check that out. I've been watching a lot of beam clips lately. And really thinking about getting back onto that game. Yeah, I definitely need to check those out you got. I just love some of those the way the way the physics work in that game and everything is pretty cool okay looks like we're all full of rice there we'll just throw that in our overflow area so I just keep grabbing the same thing over and over and over again let me grab the other stuff that's actually empty on these shelves nope spaghetti that's not empty where is the spaghetti box oh right here Last upload was three weeks ago. Yeah, no, I understand that. I understand that. I've my last actual video upload was a month ago, over a month ago. The last time I went live was almost two weeks ago. Last time I went live on this game was more than two weeks ago. I think three, almost four weeks ago. So I'm starting to understand why people don't post as much. It was always so easy for me to do it while I work night shift. I just had so much free time during the day or overnight while everybody else was sleeping and I'd have to stay up all night flipping my schedule or something like that. But now I'm starting to understand there ain't much time, especially if you got a family and all kinds of other stuff to do, other obligations. Get some rice, get some rice. Who ordered so much rice? <laughs> that would be me. So far all I've done is cammed some engines. Oh, okay. Well, our money's definitely going up. That's a plus since we uh, blew a lot buying all this stock that I'm still not done stocking. Gosh, man. That's ridiculous. And it seems like I just keep grabbing the same thing over and over and over again. Maybe because I ordered the same thing over and over again. I was ordering like 10 of each. <laughs> That's my fault. Like taxes. Gosh dang it, I gotta pay my taxes. I actually owe a bunch of money on the state taxes this year. Like a thousand dollars or something like that. Oh man. I need to make some changes to my tax forms too. I think I was gonna do that Sunday at work. Because my manager, he had to make, he's gonna have to make some changes to his too. He said he knows how to do it, and uh, he'll show me how to do it on Sunday. But I don't know if I'll make the changes. Maybe I'll just keep the money and never pay taxes again for the rest of my life. And y'all will never see another video because I'm in jail. That's just so weird how a lot of people don't ever pay taxes and get away with it. Then you got those mom and pop shops that mess up on one receipt and they lose everything. And go to jail forever, right? <laughs> kind of not really I'm sure there's a lot more to it but you hear those stories of no consequences going to this guy for not paying taxes for 10 years and then 
somebody messes up on one thing, being a business owner, and then they lose everything. I am definitely worried about that with taxes for this whole YouTube business type thing. And content creator, whatever. I mean, there was... I had to pay some taxes last year, but also didn't make much last year from this. I just started getting paid from it at the end of last year. Let's put it this way. It's definitely not enough for me to stop working a couple extra days each week at work. <laughs> that is actually an option. I have an option to work three days one week, four days another week, but I can't afford to work the three day. So I got to keep going and going and going. Can't work forward to work the three days. Is that what I said? Yeah, I think that's what I said. So yeah, I just got to keep working four days every week. Got a very, very, at a bare minimum, it's four days every week. Most of the time, that's not even enough. So four days is uh, 48 hours. Normally, that's not even enough, and I'll have to pick up a 60 or 72 hour week. A couple times a month. I guess the pattern I seem to be doing is probably like 48 hours one week and then 60 or 72 another week. And then 48, 60 or 72, then 48, 60 or 72. Yeah, that, seemed like, that seems like the pattern. It's only illegal to not file taxes. It's actually not illegal to f not file taxes. I guess apparently there's nothing in the tax code saying you need to file taxes. But I mean, all those laws change and everything. The original tax documents, and then they add different things to that and everything. But don't trust me. Definitely don't trust me. Read it for yourself. It's a huge book to read, and plus it's so outdated, and they put new rules on top of that old book. It's just like, you're going to do something wrong no matter what. I'm always afraid I'm going to get out of it. Like, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? It's just crazy how much we're paying taxes, too. Gosh. To think whatever, we had that uh, revolution over, what, a couple percent tax? Like, 2%, I think? I can't remember. And now we're way, way up there on paying taxes. 20, 30 percent in taxes, something like that. That's actually one thing I have to do with the income I make off this YouTube is I have to save 30 percent of it just to pay back in taxes. But I mean, how am I going to save that? I'm horrible to save money. Honestly, they got bank accounts for that. But YouTube takes 30 percent right off the top. And then I got to take 30% off for taxes. So even those memberships you see there, I'm not even making half of it. What is going on here? So I did put a membership available on my other channel for a dollar. I'm making 40 cents. If anybody even becomes a member <laughs> over there. <laughs> but the person becoming a member, I believe has to pay taxes on that membership also. So they're paying like a dollar ten, something like that. It's ridiculous. Well, actually, you know, I don't think you do pay taxes on the memberships. You have to file. You don't have to pay. If you don't pay, they put a lien on your house. But do your own research on them federal cases. Just take responsibility for what you've done and you should be all right. Again, yeah, own research. That's really what it is. You can always hear these stories of people getting away with this, doing this, doing that. It all comes down to, uh, I'm not going to give anybody advice on taxes. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm going to say what I've heard, what I know, what's happened to me. And then I'm going to follow that up with, uh, not a lawyer. <laughs> so don't listen to me. Where does this go? Guess I got some extra spaghetti. Man, they went through a whole day of work and I didn't even get all the shelves stocked. I got a feeling a lot of this stuff didn't even ship off either. Or a lot of the shelves was empty, that's what I meant to say. 
you know what? Let's go ahead and sleep through the night and see what happened here. No, it says everybody's satisfied. That's great. Oops. Lost a lot, a lot of money there, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm in a positive now with $3,071. Tuna's up. Eggs, four pack, and flour. Where's that tuna? Right there. Seven ninety six. Eggs four pack. That's over here. Three o five, and some sort of flour. What flour was it? I think it was this one. Yep. Four o nine. Is that really up? I think it was that it was up. There's some magical called tax write offs, and then you get in trouble for riding off the wrong thing. Yep, best thing you can do is not tell people what you're doing, and you should be fine. Exactly. Let's see here. Gosh, I got way too much of this. We're going to set it on the ground instead of use the shelf up there. Ooh, let's finish up stocking up all these shelves. And then we got to buy a lot more, too. Wait, where's this go? That goes right there. Because this is definitely not going to be enough. Bottled water? It's been a minute since I've seen that stuff. I need to drink more water. <laughs> oh yeah, this is all the way over here. Man, this whole side right there is so empty. You need to go through and buy 10 of each one of those, right? So much stuff. Are taxes part of this game? No, they're not. Uh, well, no, yeah, no, they're not. There's nowhere in here where I'm paying taxes or anything like that. There is some bills and stuff. Let's see here. These bills, I believe, are related to how much electronical equipment I have. So refrigerators, maybe even lights, I think. That's what this bill is. And then this rent over here is obviously the rent for the place. It goes off of how big it is, I guess. How much space I have. But as far as taxes, wait a second, maybe there is on here. Hold up. Received total. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they charge taxes on here or not. I don't think they do. It's interesting. I never really noticed. Oh, I can't commit tax fraud in game. <laughs> I can't shortchange people, though. So maybe the tax fraud thing will be coming. And then I'll make a how-to video on how to commit tax fraud. And not tell anybody this is a game. Yeah, now there's, man, it's, I don't know, the whole tax thing. There's just so much we're wasting money on. I don't understand how our debt ceiling in America just keeps going up, up, and up. Eventually, it's got to crash. Something bad's going to happen. Something bad's got to happen for it to get better, I think. Just not sure what that's going to be. You know, I'm doing a uh, 401k retirement plan and everything. Coming soon. <laughs> so I'm doing a 401k retirement plan. I'm doing a Roth. I'm paying my taxes now because the taxes in the future should be higher than now. But I got a feeling they're going to end up like crashing somehow. And the tax rate's going to be maxed out at like 20% or 10% or something like that. And I'm going to be screwed out of all the money I paid in taxes already. But the chance of that happen is highly unlikely. Let's see here. This goes over here. Bread. Wow. Tell me I had bread there this whole time. You know what? You go stock that, bud. There you go. Hey, thank you. Great job, mister. 
finally getting the street cleared just so I can come in here and buy a whole lot more again. This is a lot of stuff. Pretty nice, though, seeing these shelves full. I mean, if I could fill these shelves all the way up and then just let it run for a couple of days, I would have a good amount of money saved up. Then, of course, I'd need to buy more stuff. I have to legally say that. <laughs> there we go. I think we got everything finally picked up over here. Now let's order a bunch more and repeat that process over and over and over again. Jeez. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting tired of this game. Once I start realizing it's the same thing over and over and over again, I guess that's where a lot of people do get tired of the games. I do need to get some more products in here, though. I just feel like I don't have enough room, even though I got this huge floor space right here. I think I got enough room. We need to upgrade, get some different business licensing, put up some more shelves. Where is it? License, product license, start buying more of these product licenses. Get more things in here. What's up next? Cake, cake, candy, cereal, chocolate bar, yogurt. That's what it's looking like, and that's definitely going to come at a later time because this is it for this live stream episode, whatever, however you're watching it. I guess, Brandon, you said you'll be watching it tomorrow at work. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Do you like playing somewhat in-depth car games? You know... I don't know. I've thought about it. I've thought about it with the, what, that mechanic simulator game. My dad was a mechanic for 30 years. I don't like working on cars. I know how. Somewhat. And I was a mechanic in the military. So I, no, I, would, I would just have to say no. As far as in-depth car games go. As far as working on the cars. Repairing them. I think there's a junkyard game simulator one also and uh there, there's tons of there's tons of simulator games out there now i've thought about it getting into them because it kind of goes with this general group of people and plus it'd be something different for me and plus i'd be looking like an idiot not knowing what i'm doing half the time and so that would make for fun content and funny times and everything on here and I like to keep these fun and funny. Let's see here. How do I change this? You know what? Let's transition over to that intermission thing. While I say bye to everybody. Games are so unrealistic when it comes to the mechanic situations. Yeah. Yeah. There's Power Wash the Simulator and Lawnmower Simulator. Yes, there is. I played the Lawnmower Simulator a long time ago. I think before I even started this channel. I played it on Xbox like on the Game Pass. I got the Game Pass on the computer. And uh, I could easily play it. I've thought about playing it on here a few times. Doing some crossover. I've always thought about doing like a crossovers. And Rainbow Hacker Gaming talks about this a lot. Also, doing crossovers between all these other simulation games. Like, make a roleplay game for Farm Sim. But you're traveling somewhere by plane, jump on Flight Simulator. Uh, you're doing something else, jump on uh, Moen Simulator. And just kind of cross it all over. But hey, maybe that would come one day. I'm not sure how well that would do, and it would take a lot of work. And probably confuse people. They'd be like, oh, is this really in Farm Sim? Is this really in... Uh, gas station simulator or supermarket simulator or something like that whatever stuff like that but hey like i said that's it for this uh live and episode really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching really do appreciate it i hope y'all enjoyed it i know i did and please don't forget to hit that like button i know i forgot to hit it because i do have a browser up over there <laughs> but y'all take care i'll see y'all next time hopefully i can get some sort of schedule posted and get some more content coming out now that I'm getting into the rhythm of being back on day shift.